<laughs> yeah, not too bad. <laughs> like it when it's like that. Howdy folks, it's Carolina Shore Fishing here with you today and we have a special video. We're going to be doing some gyotaku, that is fish printing. This is a Japanese technique I think developed in the last couple hundred years before cameras were around. And what it is is um, you, you cover your fish with some edible ink, uh, non-toxic inks, and then you press it with this very uh, flexible paper here. It's almost like cloth, it's a, it's a rice paper. And then the most basic form, you use just a black ink. And in uh, more recent times, people go all out with painting these. And I'll, I'll have some examples here. And shout out to my boy Booty Warrior Sauce on Instagram. He got this done while he was stationed in Japan of a mahi that he had caught. And it was done by a lady that is the only one in that town to actually do them in color. And it is absolutely impeccable. So we're going to be using this cuttlefish ink. I might have to dilute it a little bit, but it's fully edible. This stuff is what they use for making uh, you know, squid ink pasta. It's incredible pasta if you've never had it before. I highly recommend it. Anyways, we're going to do this um, Spanish mackerel here that I've got. I'll show you guys some of the techniques that I've learned in uh, my research online. We'll get to it now. So I first prepared this fish by washing it under some water and then drying it as much as I could with some paper towels. So we're going to do it on the Spanish mackerel that I caught here. Uh, first thing. Sorry about that, the pup's in the back there running all around. So first thing we're gonna do here is pry open the mouth with a toothpick if we can. Be careful, the teeth are sharp and it will get you just pressing into it. They're that sharp. So just like that, mouth is pried open. Looking good, right? So next thing we want to pin our fins as best we can. So we've got the dorsal fin here, we've got our anal fin in the back, and we've got our uh, second smooth dorsal here, and here's our spiny dorsal. So we've got some pins. Uh, there are a few different ways that this is done. I'm gonna try to just use these, um, you know, ball pins like this, and stick it, you're supposed to use foam, not cardboard. You're supposed to use foam, and what you would do is cut a indent where your fish can sit in the foam, and that way you can uh, pin these fins out a lot smoother, but it appears that the cardboard is working just fine. Okay. So we've got the dorsal pinned up there. This um, smooth dorsal is not too bad, and the anal fin is not too bad. Maybe we can just pull the anal fin just slightly out like that, and that looks perfect. I honestly think Spanish mackerel is probably one of the easiest fish to do this with. 
all the fins um, you know forked out the way they are the tail here and these fins are sticking out pretty solidly there so our next step is going to be to get a nice coating of the cuttlefish ink on there and I'm going to dilute that in a little bit of water too because I don't think we're going to need as much Ooh, is it fishy smelling? <laughs> If you ever been to a fish market, that's pretty much what it smells like. Okay, so I scooped out a little bit there. I'm gonna get a little water in there and kind of mix that about. And you can use really any water-based non-toxic paint for this. The whole idea is we wanna wash this paint off afterwards and keep our edible fish. Okay, so I've added a little bit of water, you can see there, tried to get as much off the spatula as I could, and mix that in. You can see it's still really dark. I don't want to dilute it any more than that, because we want I want it to be a semi-dark print here. Take the cuttlefish ink paint that we made, and begin covering our fish with it. Careful here at the fins. We don't want the pins to pop out of our fins. And we want it to be even as well. So you see how there's uh, some spots there that are thicker than others with paint. We don't want that. Well, this is my first time doing it, so it's a little bit of a trial error experiment here. We may need to thicken up the ink just a little more. It does look a bit to dilute. Let's go ahead and try our first print. So there's a smooth side of the paper and a glossy side of the paper. You want to use the smooth matte side. And so we're just going to lay this atop. I want to get it as center as I can. That should be about it. And then we'll slowly start pressing that fish onto there. And get the fins and everything. So on first impression, looks like we've got just maybe a little too dark here. It'll be a little difficult to view the textures and features that way, but we're going to figure it out here. Okay, let's check it out. I think that's pretty beautiful there. We're gonna do another press. 
and we'll see how much better they get. Okay, we want to do one more. The face is too dark, so we need to wipe a lot of that off. The fins were fine. Just need to get that pin on properly. There we go. Okay. And dry it back up there. And we'll start. Thank you.